I don't think I would have approached this as well as you are right now. Honestly, like, I think I would have been like, she said to put water on it. <laughs> That's it. Hello, my sniffers, and welcome to my channel. I swore I wasn't gonna film this. Didn't I say we're not filming this? And then I was like, some people have asked me if I did it, but no. I waited for Carolyn to come back, and today she is gonna show me how to garden? Garden, yes. How to plant veggies for your birds. Yeah. Like, you see all these awesome seeds, yes. tomatoes, salad, beans. And we have radish and we have edamame. We are gonna we plant what? edamame. This edamame. Edamame? <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> so these are gold little gold pots. Okay. Like because once there's water, lukewarm water, it will like rise and it grows and it will be like a soil, like a little like pot like that. And then you just put in the seeds. And there's 72 of these little pots. Okay. So we have lukewarm water and what we do is just pour it right into those little pots and then you'll see it rise and it will grow right in front of your eyes. How long will that take? Probably just like 30 seconds. What? Like oh, you pause. mean it's gonna expand? Yes. Like, okay, cool. Like suck up the water. Okay, okay, ready? Yeah. All right, check it out. We'll start right here. And it's lukewarm water. See, once it gets wet, it will absorb. Oh, I need one more water. Okay. Yeah. But I need to, this is way too hot. Okay. So um, we need to like put look, some look, I'm like an amazing cooking show. I'm prepared. But... <laughs> you are prepared. I'm like such a great cooking show. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's something, there's something to this. I could do it. And see, 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 see. It's uh, already coming up. You see that? Here, no, look. Oh, oh yeah. So it we'll looks like, this. it looks like you made muffins. Yeah, right? Larry, <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? You wanna be part of this? I'm gonna be Oprah for a second, all right? All right. Not saying I don't know the answer, I'm just saying I'm Oprah. Okay, Carolyn. Now please tell us the benefit of doing something like this for your parrots, growing your own vegetables. Yes, Oprah. Thank you for asking the question. Mm -hmm. So in order to grow your own vegetables, you need like, soil and actually a garden but this is so much easier than a garden because you have everything already prepared so these little pots they are now you see they are now expanding and the benefit from it is to grow your own like seeds is it's all organic you know where it comes from and it's not store-bought that you have no idea if it's organic if there's pesticides or homicides in there it's <laughs> Homosets. You mean homo you don't know if there's murders happened in here? I uh, was saying homo pesticides, homo pesticides and homocytes, right? Pesticides, hormones. Hormones, yeah, hormones and um, uh, MSG GMOs. and yeah, GMOs okay. and stuff like that. Can I ask you a question? I don't know if you know the answer, but sometimes our seeds are compromised because they come from plants. Like even the organic ones because our soil in America is tarnished. So how do you know like where these came from? You always have to read. Like this, Renee's Garden is really a good seed. Okay. They are also like probably like $3, $3.99 each. But it's so worth it to buy expensive seeds and not cheap seeds. If seeds you find like in Home Depot, like this is just like 99 cents. This wasn't 99 cents. But if it's cheap seeds, then it will be a cheap product. So you need to make sure it also says like organic. So this is organic vegetables, Mapa Living. So you see and it says 100% certified organic seeds. So read the labels. Just so you know guys, you cannot get this USD organic symbol easily. It's actually a lot of work to get that symbol. I should know. <laughs> we need more water. Okay, more water. I admire you because like, I can't do all this with birds on my shoulder, right? You see they have their stands all over. Okay. I know, but they will scream. Well, she will. All right, so you see it's already expanding. You want some more water? Oh, she's thirsty. She likes warm water. My birds too. They get like warm tea. water at night. Half boiling, half filtered. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> Are you done? Wow, Yay. this really grew. Yeah, isn't that fun? Like, look, so this we'll one do right a little here. more. 
I really feel like eating it. It looks like a brownie. Or and it something. smells good too, it right? It does. You smell it? You smell the herb? Yeah, it smells like when I go to the <laughs> Are you okay? Are you yeah, wet? I didn't wet at all. <laughs> is your is your camera okay? Yeah. Okay, let's continue. You see, okay. it just and some is like a little smaller. How so do you just... know when it's uh, ready though? Oh, it's really like this. This is ready. This, this one's is really ready. Expanding. Yeah, yeah. See, this is a little small. This is so... giving me a craving for like gluten-free brownies right now. <laughs> <laughs> we need to cook some more water. We need to cook more water. We need some more warm water and not everything is yet expanded. I'll do what I know best, boiling the kettle. What do you have to say about this cooking show? Guys, while we're on topic, there's my, obviously the tap, and then we always install some filtered water, like a system underneath, and we never put anything but filtered water in the kettle. If you have issues with kidneys, kidney stones, anything like that, you wanna make sure you always have filtered water in your kettle. And also, of course, what you're giving your bird should always be filtered water, so um, it's a very important investment. Not too much, you can literally get these kind of systems at Costco, I think. You get everything at Costco. Good. How much more water do you need? Is it boiling yet? I didn't or even finish cool? filling it yet. Yeah, probably just one can. Where's the top to this yeah. thing? Oh yeah. Merlin, Merlin guards the kettle. Merlin, do you mind if I... Ah! Oh. What happened? Look at this key. Mysterious key. You know what this is a key to? No. When to the heart? No, when they gave us Rocky, oh. they gave us this key to his cage, but look, oh. we kept it, but we never have used it. Good, you never locked him up. No. That means he was locked up. Yeah, but I mean, because you know, he's smart. He's gonna get out of there. Birds are always smart. They know how to get out. Jersey goes and lets everyone loose. But how, so we want it to boil half? And it doesn't need to be hot, hot. Okay, so maybe a minute we'll boil yes. that. Okay. You see those pots? Yeah. They have like little holes already. Oh like yeah. Here. Each pot has a little hole. Oh, it just it's got like a net on yes, it. Yes, and there's a net holding the soil. So basically, we can put three or four seeds in each of those nets. Okay. And then you'll just put on the cover back once we put the seed. Oh, we put the cover of that back on. Yeah. Where and can then somebody get this? Oh, this, they sell it in Home Depot or any yeah, hardware store. Yeah, but how do you know gardening? this is an organic soil? Because you know soil is important. This is just starting thing. So once this starts, because it's so hard to just start seeds, you can like buy organic soil, soil in Home Depot. Just put it then in these type of pots. Okay. Will you be calling me and letting me know when I need the transfer? Okay, so you need a half and half, right? Right. But it's already expanding really well, so let's do a half of this cup and then half of filter water. So it's like nice and mm -hmm. lukewarm. You wanna watch? Oh. <laughs> What's cuter than a bird drinking nothing, right? Birds are so cute. They want to be involved in everything mm. you touch. So we are planting yeah. water with Glory Sliver. Yes, <laughs> queen. All right, so some pots are still small. Okay. So we'll just like kind of like target the small ones. I don't think I would have approached this as well as you are right now. Honestly, like I think I would have been like, she said to put water on it. That's it. I wouldn't have known what to do without you Expanding, dying. you see, it takes like those little pots. They were so small and now they're all like so nice and big. I really appreciate you coming on to my show today to show us this, Carolyn. Oh yeah, uh -huh. you're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, so now we put little holes in here okay. like this. I think it's fully expanded. Oh wow. You see, even the last little yeah. like one is like fully expanded. So we kind of like... So now you put your finger in the hole? Like just to give them like a little like mulde. Um, a little mulde is like a little like hole like this. Like a nesting, okay. like really soft and Okay. Like a little you put your finger in the hole and look for a mulde. <laughs> exactly. Okay. It's mulde. Mulde. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, once we have the mulde, okay. like this little hole. Yeah. Glory comes expected. Glory, yeah. everything okay? Inspected glory, please, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Approved. Yeah, approved. Okay. approved. Okay, so now what, what happens if you don't have a bird to inspect it? Are you still good to go? No. You need to do this absolutely with your birds on your shoulders. Like, 
the comic. What I about said. our viewers out there that don't have birds? Can they still do this? Go to the sanctuary and get yourself a bird. <laughs> Good. What do you want to plant? Okay. So we edami, carrots, beans, broccoli, kohlrabi. This is a German fr uh, um, root fruit. Is that good for birds? Veggies? Yes, very healthy for okay. birds. Very, but it needs a lot of space. Okay. To grow, the, the leaves will be that big. Okay. Okay, what do you want to grow? I would love to grow a cute cumber, and I want it to be very cute. <laughs> Uh, let's do a cute cucumber, right? No, That's wait. not a cute cucumber. <laughs> That's right. Where's a cute cucumber? Here, cucumber. Tasty green cucum cucumber. No. How many cucumbers do you, you want? You just do you. I'm like an expert at getting experts to do what they do best. Okay, so usually in so, such a little pot, you can do like three oh, okay. or four like that. Then you have four plants. This okay. is four plants. So let's do this. Four plants? Yes, every seed is a plant. But how do you, like, how does all those plants get in one pot? You need pots, you need to go buy pots. But later, like, will all those plants be in one pot? Or it's like, I take out a plant, a plant. Like, how are they not going to stick together and get their roots? That's the reason why you need to, like, kind of, like, like, kind of, like, put them apart like this. Yeah, that's Not together, thinking. because they will be four separate individuals. And then you need to pluck them apart, and then each one will get their own little, like, big seeds. Each one of these, each seed will get its own pot. If it makes it. If it makes it. If it, that's why you need to plant more than you. Oh, we're doing in vitro. If it needs it. So maybe here's four, and maybe just three will come out, you know? Oh, really? It's like eggs hatching, like. But uh, it'll be obvious that it's three different plants. I won't have to make yeah. a guess. Yeah. So if you put it in pots, you see you have to like kind of put them all yeah. more like apart. So this one is all cucumber and then you kind of write here cucumber. Oh! Okay, what is the next? You say beans. Yeah, beans. We can do like uh, eight. Is this gonna make a bean stock or? Hey, you're blocking my light, buddy. Whoa, that's a bean. That's a bean, yeah. Look, it's a bean. It's a real bean. So let's do like three in each. So we can do two because beans are big. Okay. We'll do two on each. Okay. You have so much more in there. But, you know, it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, to see beans grow and just pluck it right raw off the hook is just so amazing. Really? Yeah. I had my garden beans and I just, just seeing them like grow, it's just so rewarding. Plus, you can just like pluck and eat. You don't need to even need to wash it because you know it's all organic and you're kind of like one with the soil. So you see now this um, 12 rows? Wow. 12, this is beans. So we are right here down. Okay. Beans. Next thing is carrot. You see the carrot? Mm -hmm. Carrots? Look at how small these seeds are. They're so small they're invisible. Look at these. Each one oh is a carrot God. plant. Look at that. Everyone should be, there's so much food in the world then. Exactly, exactly. Look at, we just need some like this and we just sprinkle now. We don't know how many will make it, but we'll just sprinkle all over the pots. How many because they are, would make it? Do you have carrots? Maybe I have everyone carrots. will make it. I and didn't you'll see, have a you lot don't have of carrots. carrots growing in your I did have carrots growing, but I didn't have the space for it because you need to go right into the soil and kind of like pluck them out because it's a root. All right, so what's next? We have cucumber tomatoes. We say tomatoes. Right? These are so tiny. Look at how much in tomato in this package. Mm. <laughs> so we can make one roll because we have two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one will get two. So we'll just do one row of tomatoes. Okay. And each one get one. Is it better in this case to put all of them in one? Or is it better to put like all of them? Like normally how many tomato seeds would you have put? It depends how much tomato I have. So usually it's good to like just like because starting is not easy. So if you can get a lot of tomatoes, like I would just do the same thing what we did with carrot, just like yeah. spill the seeds and to see what comes out. So this Have is you ever made like a hybrid, a hybrid vegetable or something where you put two in one and then they kind of like. Yeah, the thing is like if you do like two seeds in one two and they different. grow to two different seeds, they will just grow together. It works too, but it's not like one hybrid. It's like two. Oh, okay. Same pure. Now, do you want some radish or broccoli? Yeah. We still have spinach and spinach. we have... Um, Let's do spinach. Let's do spinach. broccoli. What's that one? 
This is spinach. Okay. Sometimes if it goes like some seeds goes like on the side, they will grow out of the side. Okay. <laughs> Appetizer when we go to like sushi place, Edami. So we'll just like stick two or three in each pot. Okay. Once it's all done, we'll have to cover it with soil. So what you're saying is that I need to keep these so that I know how long. Yeah. Once those not uh, those you finish one package, um, make sure to kind of like keep those packets so you can always read how long it will take to germinate. Okay. Wow, that looks beautiful. Yeah. Check this out. So once they are all in and it's all labeled, so you know what they are, you might not with a shot, but with a like little um, knife. You kind of like just bury them. Like put just like just a little bit soil over them like this. See, so that they are just barely like covered. So we just bury them. So we are done. So we are done. Yeah. So once you covered them and buried them. Yeah. Now what? Um. See, some is dry. You need to water them again. How often do I have to water them? So um, there's always instructions. Okay. Like, oh, what okay. does it say here? Instructions everywhere. So we're just gonna water them like right, like right now, like that. This is now a greenhouse. So put the top back. Just okay. be careful that you don't get any labels messed up. And then put it somewhere where it's light. Okay. Like basically over right there. there. Okay. And then um, you don't need to water them today. But once you see it's kind of like dry brown, you kind of mist them with a spray. Once a day or more? You have to see how much, like how, like right now they're all dark brown which is perfect. But how long are they gonna stay dark brown? Probably until they're dry. But I mean, how long is that? Is that like a few times a day? Like every time they're, they're light brown, I gotta make them dark brown or? Yeah. You have to come and look. I can't tell you exactly, but probably in like in the next, maybe tomorrow some of them will be light brown and that means they are dry. So you have to like spray and mist them. But right now they're all dark brown and they're ready to like germinate. Yay! Oh my God, Carolyn, thank you so much for coming on my channel. I'm teaching everyone this, this is like such a valuable lesson. Thank you, such a valuable lesson to everybody. Guys, don't forget to check out Carolyn's channel. Maybe she'll do some more gardening over there on her channel. You can let her know in the comments of her videos if you're interested in that, because I mean, we can watch mine grow, but clearly <laughs> she's the ex. Excuse me, did she just laugh at me? <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to both our channels if you're not subscribed. Like, wow, you made it this far. Check out my TikTok. I put some really funny videos up there. Love you. Bye. Bye.